my hypothesis was that businesses would behave like consumers do. Consumers, in many cases, are willing to pay a premium for socially labeled goods. Businesses, as I learned after starting my business, are not. Um, businesses pay us to deliver good quality services with competitive costs and, and competitive turnaround times, and we're competing with for-profit outsourcing firms. So what we found is that the social mission is really the icing on the cake. The, uh, the good quality services have to be there first, and then all other things being equal, of course, people would love to work with us. Right. They know that we're a nonprofit. If you succeed, what happens when an entire village is, is, is tagging photos and doing all sorts of things realizes I can be an entrepreneur yep. and they get involved with you. The price, by the way, all of a sudden goes up for you. So Google says, I don't know, can I, can I use you or do, I, I, or do you consider that success? Yeah, but success is a good thing. I mean, look in our case, we're seeing these tech and other entrepreneurial ecosystems spawn up in Buenos Aires, in Amman, in places you would never, in Egypt after the revolution, in Greece now. These are places you wouldn't expect business to be happening. And you just we, started in Greece. We just started in Greece, yes. Very strange place, I know, to, you, place you, to start, given what's going on. I know you called me world. crazy again, and I said that when, when economies turn down, entrepreneurs look up. It's the best time to be an entrepreneur in Greece. Chaos is a catalyst. Chaos is your friend. But, but what's interesting is when we looked, so we went to, to Argentina, Jordan, Turkey, Brazil, we said, all right, we want to investigate all these startups that are happening, why? So we, we looked to the 200 startup companies, too early for Endeavor. We take companies, you know, one to $20 million in revenues. But we said, we asked them four questions. We said, number one, who inspired you? Number two, who mentored you? Number three, who, if anybody, actually invested in you? And number four, did you ever work for an entrepreneurial firm before? Now, 15 years ago, there was no word, there was no company, there were no role models. They, what happened is they'd start referring back to the companies, and we started seeing patterns. And three or four companies, some of our ex-entrepreneurs, have become the angel investors, the mentors, the venture capitalists, and you take them away, the ecosystem disappears. But what happens is, it's like the PayPal mafia effect or the Googlers. You can have a few entrepreneurs giving it, paying it forward. It creates the next generation. It's a multiplier effect that happens very rapidly. So what you're doing at Samosource, we hope they will be the one-day entrepreneurs. We hope ours become the VCs. That's, that's, that's success. <laughs>